All right, I'm back for the rest of this roof video. <laughs> I've apologized in the past, certainly apologize again. This really is my first foray into YouTube or doing videos or anything like that. And I accidentally hit the stop instead of the pause. So now we have two videos for this. But as you can see, I've got the roof trim on or the, uh, the uh, drip edge on. And it runs down to the edge, and like I said, it runs from the edge down to here. And like I said, the coop is whoa, the coop is um, 12 feet long. This stuff only comes in 10 foot uh, 10 foot strips at my lows. So what we're going to do is I've cut, and this is 24 inches right here that's uncovered still. I've cut, uh, I've cut. 25 inches and we're going to take that and I hope you can see that I cannot see anything because this sun is coming up and it is right in my face but what we're going to do is we slide that in and then we have about an inch of overlap and that way there's no seam right here the overlap will help keep the water just running off and then on the end there I think you can see that then it's lined up even. And what will happen is, is um, we're going to put the paper on. And then on these edges that extend upward, we're going to put more of this on over the paper. So this goes, the bottom edge goes under the paper. And then the paper goes over it. That way if water gets on it, it doesn't run right up under this lip right here. So we put the, the drip edge on, then we put the paper, and then on the sides, we're gonna put more drip edge on, and then that will keep it from running underneath and getting on the wood because it'll be on the paper. And then it'll run down to here, if there is any water again that gets under the shingles, and it'll run over, and eventually there's gonna be a gutter right here. And we're actually going to, now, so that gutter that's going to go along this end here is gonna attach to a rain catchment system that will hopefully, at least part of the year, feed the bird, uh, water the birds. Um, they will, oh, you can see my house in the background there. I got a weedy. Let me turn a little bit here. That's, isn't that a better background? That's a pretty background. I always like looking at that. Those are my two brown turkey fig bushes back there. Um, I think you can see them. They're both standing straight up. And then my garden kind of, or my secondary garden here is, kind of right here but it's pretty grown over with weeds right now there's always plenty to do always more than enough to do so um we're gonna put the drip edge on then we're gonna put the paper on and uh then we're gonna start hopefully putting well we're gonna put this sticky stuff on over the paper uh, I read something about there's this self-adhesive underlay that is waterproof. It's very good. I have it. But I heard several recommendations that in hot areas like it gets pretty hot in here in July and August. I mean, we can be pushing 100 degrees or even over uh, usually for a week or two uh, during that time. And what will happen is over time is the stuff that's self-adhesive, and I'll show it to you later. It's like an underlay uh, that, go, that goes under the shingles to help keep everything waterproof, that stuff can actually just adhere to the plywood and it just becomes a heck of a mess. I have actually talked to two guy roofers that are local. Uh, well, one's just kind of, he's a general contractor and the other guy actually does roofing. And they say, yeah, it does happen and it's quite the mess. It happens more farther south down Georgia, Florida, the Carolinas, but it can happen here over time. So what we do, what I'm gonna do is this first layer of paper I'm putting down is not um, self-adhesive. I have to tack it down. Then when I then I'll, on top of that, I'm going to put the self-adhesive gummy stuff. And that means that if there's ever an issue and this roof needs to come off, the gummy adhesive stuff will be attached to the paper, not to the plywood. And it should hopefully come right off if, if there's ever that need. And then finally, if there's time today, and I don't know if there's going to be time... Uh, just because it's already getting so hot and I've got to get busy here so I'm going I'm to set you down for a little bit is that um, I, I'll be starting to put shing cut shingles and put shingles on it is not even 8 a.m. and I don't know if you can see the 
you can see that on my arm. I'm just like glistening. I'm soaked with sweat already. The humidity is just absolutely insane here. So um, I will talk to you in a little bit. Uh, once I've got something more to report, we'll add on to this video. I apologize. I meant to pause the last one, but I um, stopped it by accident. And I've already apologized to you guys before. I'm not a videographer. I did just get a tripod. I don't have it with me. I don't even have it out of the box yet. So hopefully the videos are going to be getting better. And I hope you, uh, if you're watching these, some of these newer videos, these early videos, you're going to stick with me because I do think I'm going to be getting better and taking care of business. So um, with that said, I'm going to get busy again and I will report back when I got something for you to see.